You're listening to In the NoCo, a daily slice of Northern Colorado news and happenings. It's Thursday, October 26th. I'm Erin O'Toole. It's estimated that nearly 200,000 undocumented people live in Colorado. It's a life that comes with a lot of uncertainty, especially when it comes to accessing things like education and health care. Some state lawmakers have been trying to alleviate that uncertainty in different ways. A 2021 law expanded health care access for Coloradans regardless of their immigration or documentation status. It paved the way for the creation of OmniSalut, Last year, that program helped to provide low-cost medical coverage for 10,000 undocumented residents with low incomes. Access to health coverage, health care, I mean, it's it's really the, the starting place to good health care is having access to health insurance, health coverage. When people don't have that kind of access, one, they don't take care of their health care needs, or often they don't. And so health care needs can then kind of be compounded and worsened. So by the time they seek care, it might be at an emergency room, which is a much higher cost to our society. That's Dale White, who oversees the program in Boulder County. As the open enrollment period for this and other health insurance approaches, I sat down with White to learn how the OmniSalute program is helping more Coloradans get covered and how it fits into the bigger conversation about healthcare access. Generally, I would say that Colorado um, legislatively has a lot of support behind providing access and and really strengthening access for all all people in the state of Colorado. We have expanded Medicaid. We got into that very early so that, you know, a lot more people have access to that than in some of the states that, that did not choose to do that. And then now with the, um, the advent and along with having our own marketplace and the whole system of support that's provided through that marketplace. Um, it's called the assistance network. We're part of the assistance network. And so we have certified health coverage guides that help people navigate those challenging, um, the challenging ecosystem of health coverage, what they might be eligible for, how they enroll, how they apply, whatever the different programs might be. And this program, OmniSalud, um, is a piece of that whole puzzle, trying to make, um, just provide that access to everybody in our state. So how do you reach out to communities who perhaps aren't served by the traditional messaging about you know, you can sign up for low-cost health insurance, and here is where and how you do that. How do you reach out to people not typically served in those messaging channels? Well, um, in every way possible. So I think... Um, <laughs> All the places. Yes. And and we're. I, I feel like we're the beneficiaries um, in Boulder County of having our health coverage center actually be part of Boulder County Housing and Human Services, Uh, because we have, through that, a lot of reach to community-based organizations, um, so are able to, I think, really work hard to spread the word in collaboration with lots and lots and lots of partner organizations, um, which is super helpful. And then we show up at events, we go everywhere that we can think to go, we do interviews, we just try to spread the word. And in particular, this program for OmniSalude, I think a lot of it is about word of mouth, and it spreads across the community from from person to person. And um, starting last year, we've just really worked hard to try to meet people where they are, go to places where they congregate, and try to help spread the word about the availability of this program. Yeah. And I would imagine there are also trust issues with the government, a concern that disclosing their information might be used against them in an immigration case. Are you hearing those concerns from people and how do you address them? This is a good question. We we try as best we can to help people understand that we as an enrollment center are free, unbiased and confidential and that um, OmniSalute has no relationship to anything like public charge. And there is no sharing of information for people that opt onto the Colorado Connect platform 
of their information with any other agencies or organizations. So it is absolutely secure. And we just try to get that message out as far and wide as we can. And just briefly to talk about the demand uh, in its first year, Omnis Salud had a cap of 10,000 people. Uh, that cap was reached within the first five weeks, I think I read, of the enrollment opening. So you mentioned that the cap is now raised to 11,000 individuals. Does that even come close to meeting the demand? I No, I don't think it does. It's a good start. We're very happy that our state is headed in this direction. Uh, but I, I do want to highlight that that 11,000 cap for this year includes everybody that might currently be enrolled, meaning if they got into the program last year, they have to re-enroll to be in the program again in the coming year. And they don't have a first in line status. They are just, you know, need to sign up as soon as possible. And so what took five weeks last year, now that the word is spreading, we anticipate that it can fill very quickly. And so we're really trying to get the word out to people and provide resources and support to sign up the first few days of open enrollment, which starts November 1st. And we have resources on our website and we have walk-in enrollment events on the first, second, and third all day devoted to this program because we think that it will fill very quickly in our state. So Colorado is among a small handful of states offering any kind of assistance with health coverage for undocumented individuals. What do you think it will take to grow the number of states that offer the kind of resources that Colorado does? Is it a matter of political will? I would think so. That's not quite my wheelhouse, but I, I think it w it's political will because it really happened at the legislative level. And the funding is through fees to the insurance carriers. It's not a tax funded initiative for these subsidies. So I think it's political will and interest. And I think Colorado has a lot of interest to really provide an environment that supports all of its residents um, to have the health and well being that, that people deserve. Dale White, thank you so much for talking with me today. Thank you. It's been great to be here. Dale White is program manager of Boulder County's Health Coverage Enrollment Center. Open enrollment for people looking for insurance through the state's online marketplace starts this coming Wednesday. And Boulder County will be holding several walk-in events for people who need help enrolling in Omni Salud. Those happen November 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. You'll find more information and a link to their website in our show notes. Healthcare, of course, includes looking after our mental health, but there are plenty of barriers to accessing it. Coming up next week on In the NoCo, we sit down with KUNC's Lee Patterson to discuss the youth mental health crisis in Colorado and some new efforts underway to address it. Make sure you're subscribed so you won't miss that or any other episodes of our show. You can do that at KUNC.org or at your favorite podcast platform. And we'd love to hear from you if you have questions you'd like us to answer or ideas in the area of healthcare, mental health, or really anything else on your mind, let us know. You can email us at noco at kunc.org. That's N-O-C-O -O at kunc.org. That's it for us today here on In the NoCo. We'll be back tomorrow with more of what's happening in Northern Colorado. Our producer is Jocelyn Mesa Miranda. Robin Vincent is our executive producer. I'm Erin O'Toole. See you next time.